one. We are recording, bringing this up. Full screen, and we are now live. Three. Yeah, we're gonna tune and then we'll and then we'll like make an intro or something. Okay. We are live in three, two, one. What's up, people? It's <laughs> I don't know. You just start You're laughing. You're so awkward for an intro. I am. <laughs> I'm not gonna say I'm any better, but it yeah. it's just so I'm gonna, What's up, people? What's My up? name's Justin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, we're off to a good start, I think. It's... My name is Jason. I don't think I've ever been on Justin's channel. If this is going to YouTube. This is going to YouTube. Sweet. It's going on the Otaku Gaming One on One channel and your channel if you want. Not sure. Well put. So <coughs> <laughs> playing Otaku Show. Just it's a visual novel. Very. Can be compiled. Com um, I can speak today. Perverted. <laughs> <laughs> I speak well. I speak a good English. Well, speak English. Okay, so you want to get started? Let's get started. I have actually played this game before, so we're going to go for whatever I want to do because I'm the one playing and Justin's going to watch. I am going to commentate. A light breeze causes the naked brain. Never put the Shut the fuck back up. Out. Oh, yeah, we should probably do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, options. Hmm. Auto. That's auto mode. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Music. Too loud. Okay. <clears throat> a light breeze causes the naked branches overhead to rattle like wooden wood chimes. The popular tree for couples in the summer. <laughs> <Ow>. <laughs> Good forgot. job, moron. I forgot the timer. <clears throat> I'll just keep going. The deciduous trees provide a beautiful green canopy far out of the shot. Fuck out. I forgot where I was. A beautiful green canopy far out of the sight of the teachers and fellow students. But now in late winter, it feels like I'm standing under a pile of kindling. I breathe into my cupped hands and rub them together furiously to prevent them from numbing in this cold. Just how long am I, am I expected to wait out here anyway? I'm sure the note said 4 p.m. You're finally back. Yeah, I guess. Nice of you to join us. Yeah, I'm sorry. We're playing a video game. Kind of. <laughs> kind like of. Video game? How do you get the timer? How do I use this? Ah, uh, yes. Dot, dot, dot. The note. Dot, dot. Slipped between the pages of my math book while I wasn't looking. As far as cliches goes, I'm more of a fan of the letter in the locker, but at least this way shows a bit of initiative. As I ponder the meaning of the note, the snowfall gradually thickens. The snowflakes silently falling from the white painted sky are, on, are the only sign of time passing in this stagnant world. The slow descent upon the frozen forest makes it seem like time is slowed to a fall. We get it, it's snowing! <laughs> <laughs> the the rustling of dry snow underfoot startles me, interrupting the quiet mood. So someone is approaching me from behind. Mmm, the person. <laughs> I will smack you. I'm trying to freaking read. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, Hisao. You came. A hesitating, barely audible question. However, I recognize the owner of the dainty voice instantly. I feel my heart skip a beat. It's a voice I've listened to hundreds of times, but never is more than an eavesdropper to a conversation. I turn to face this voice, the voice of my dreams. My heart begins to race. <sighs> That, that guy in the top left, that, that's our guy. His name is Hisao. Forgot his first name. Hisu? Hisao. <laughs> Hisao? Iwanako? I got a note telling me you'd wait here. It was yours? Question mark. Damn it! I spent all of them trying to come up with a good line, and that was the result. Fucking faggot. <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> Pathetic. <clears throat> oh, that's a girl. <laughs> yes, I asked a friend to give that, you know, give, give you to that note. Give that to you. I can read. <laughs> I just forgot to give you that note. I'm so glad you got it. A shy, joy smile that makes me so tense. I couldn't move a single muscle even if I tried. By the way, if you didn't know, Katao Shoujo means disabled girls or disability girls or crippled girls. So yeah, just letting you know that. In case you have no idea. My heart is pounding Triple now. Shut the fuck up. My heart is pounding now as if it were trying to burst out from my chest and claim this girl for itself. So... Uh, here we are, out in the cold. Once again, the wind stirs up the branches. The c cacof I don't know how to speak English. Cacophonous. Nope. Cacophonous. Cacophonous. We should be playing this. Is music to my ears. Iwanako flinches over ever so softly against the gust of the wind. Probably because uh, he he's now used a bite and caused it to flinch. Dark type moves. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I will bring Pokemon into everything. Shut the fuck up. Lost profit time? <laughs> I'm doing the hat. Go for it. As it passes, she reacts herself as if supported by some new confidence. Her eyes lock with mine, and she lazily twirls her long, dark hair around her finger. All the while, the anxious beating of my heart goes louder. That's not a good thing. 
Yeah. My throat was tight. I doubt I could even force a word out if I tried. You see, I wanted to know if you'd go out with me. I stand there motionless, save, save for my pounding heart. I want to say something in reply, but my vocal cords feel like they're being stretched beyond the breaking point. Is that out? I reach for trying to massage my throat, but it's only, it's only this only sense but of blinding pain along my arms. Hiss out! Wait, is he having a heart attack? Yes! My whole body freezes. Safe my eyes, which do not open in terror. Hiss out! <laughs> wow, that, that was actually pretty good. The beating of my chest suddenly stops. I go weak at the knees. The world around me, the canopy of bare branch, the dull winter sky, Iwanaka running towards me, all these fade to black. The last things I remember before slipping away into the sounds of Iwanaka screaming for help and the incessant chatter, clatter of branches above. Nice opening. Beep. Opening sequence! Beep. Loop. Four Leaf Studios presents. Booper? Katawa Shoujo! <laughs> Just that. Oh. Inspiration. Raita. Did you know this is made on 4chan? This isn't even Japanese. It just uses Japanese names. Really? It was made on 4chan. <laughs> it was made on 4chan. On 4. Well then. For something made on 4chan, that actually has a really good story. Surprise. It has a story? Which yes, it actually is a story. That's so surprising. It's a good one at that. It's not just a fact story, like a lot of visual novels. Like a lot of 4chan in general. Okay, Fortune is just fucked up in all senses of fucked up. That is true. I'm not even sure if you're allowed swearing on your channel, but I'm doing it. It's little cute. I don't allow stuff like Luke does. That what? what, do does, what does he make fun of races? He has done that. That doesn't surprise me to Luke. He's, He's done... I have had the... Like, like for people watching this, because this is probably the next video that's coming out on my channel. Because someone's actually doing something with him? Because yeah. he never has a recording partner because he's a loner? Oh well, no, I have... Get, and no I, one likes him? Also, the fact is a lot of the recordings I did have, Luke ruined. And won't, and hasn't been editing. Luke's a faggot. Yeah, he kind of has not been doing his job. And he's yeah. been bailing on me every weekend. You know, considering how, how we're doing this, you could probably record this in Windows Movie Maker. Or yeah. not record this, edit it. Just yeah. need to cut out the beginning part with the freaking recording because it's a penis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, a penis. <laughs> it's been four months since my heart attack. I should probably be clicking this so it can't, you can't hear the clicking sound of the mic. Yeah. In that whole time, I can probably count the times I've been locked in the hospital or unsupervised on, on one hand. Four months is a pretty long time when you're left alone with your thoughts, so I've had plenty of time to come to terms with that situation. Arrhythmia. A strange wor word for an alien one, one that you don't want to be in the same room with. A rare condition causes the heart to act erratically on occasions, beat way too fast, and it can be fatal. You can die at any moment. Haha, <laughs> sucker. Apparently, I've had it for a long time. They said it would be a miracle that I was able to go so long without anything happening. Probably a born person, if that's why. Is that really a miracle? I guess it was supposed to make me feel better, more appreciative of my life. I really didn't do anything to trim me up. My parents think I. Th um, mm, my parents, I think, were hit harder by the news than I was. Than I was, I think it's bolded. They practically had two hemorrhages apiece. I had already, I already had a full day by then to digest everything. To them, it was all fresh. They were even willing to sell our house in order to pay for a cure. Stupid. Of course, there isn't a cure. It's like diabetes. It's yeah. nothing like diabetes. Nothing like diabetes. Except the fact that there's no cure. Yeah. Well then, no. Because of the late discovery of this condition, I had this I don't know, condition. I had to stay in the hospital to recuperate for the train for the for the, mm, from from the, the treatments. From the, from the speak well? Speak good English well. Yeah, I don't need really your well. okay. When I was first admitted, I felt as excuse me. I felt as if I, I was missed. For about a week my room in the ward was full of flowers, balloons, and cards. But the first is soon dwindled. And all the get well gifts began trickling down to nothing shortly after. I was the only excuse me. I had gotten so many cards and flowers because sending me their sympathy had turned out to turn into a class project. Maybe some people were genuinely concerned, but I doubt it. Even in the beginning I had barely had a visit. By the end of the first month, only my parents came by on a regular basis. Yunaka was the last to stop this I. After six weeks I never saw her again. We never had that much talk about when she visited anyways. We did touch the subject that between us and snowy day ever again. The hospital? It's not really a place I'd like to live in. The doctors and nurses feel so impersonal and fe faceless, not fearless. I guess it's because if they're in a hurry, the million other patients waiting on them, but it makes me feel uncomfortable. 
This leaves me thinking I have to set that window back there. Yeah. <laughs> for the first month or so, I asked the head cardiologist every time I saw him for a rough estimate of when I'd be able to leave. He never, anything, he never answered anything in a straightforward way, but told me to wait and see if the treatment and surgeries worked. So I idly observed the scar to the, that those surgeries had left on my chest, slowly changing appearance over time, thinking of it as some kind of omen. I still ask the head cardiologist about leaving, but my expectations are low enough now that I do not... That, um, I can't fucking read. I'm not disappointed anymore when I don't get a reply. The way he shuffles around the answer shows that there is at least some hope. At some point, I stopped watching TV. I don't know why. I just did. God, this opening sequence is so long. Just get yeah. to freaking school already. Whatever it was. I don't know why. I just did. Maybe it was just the wrong kind of escapism for my situation. I started reading instead. There was a small library at the hospital. Although it was more like a storeroom for books, I began working my way through it, one small stack at a time. After consuming them, I would go back for more. I found that I liked reading, and I think I became a bit addicted. I started feeling naked without books in my hand. But I loved the stories. Because that's what he has. <laughs> that was what my life was like. The days became increasingly harder to distinguish from each other, differing only by the book I was reading and the weather outside. It felt like a time blur in some kind of gooey mass that was trapped inside, instead of moving within. A week could go by without me really noticing it. Sometimes I'd pause in the realization that I don't know what day of the week it was. But other times, all the things that surrounded my, me would painfully crash into my consciousness through the barrier of nonchalance and I set up for myself. The page of my book would start to feel sharp and burning hot, and the heavy, heaviness of my chest would become hard, hard to bear, and I had to put the book aside and just lay down for a while, looking at the ceiling as if I was going to cry. <sighs> Such a wuss. <laughs> he really is sometimes. Hissau. 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 SEO. <laughs> Hi, SEO. Hi, <laughs> SEO. Hi, SEO. But that happened only rarely, and I couldn't even cry. Wait. You said, Hi, SEO, rarely? What? <laughs> Hi, sorter online. Today, the doctor came in and gave me a smile. He seemed excited, but not very. <laughs> <laughs> this is what he said. He seemed excited, but he's not, he wasn't at all. He, he, he was actually he's depressed. He actually just found out his dog died. It's like he's trying to make an effort to be happy on my behalf. My parents are, are here. It's been a, a few days since I've last seen them. Both of them are even sort of dressed up. Is this supposed to be some kind of special occasion? It's not a party. It's my fucking birthday. Okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> there's, you know, there's this ritual the head just has. He takes his time, sorts his papers, and then settles them aside as if to make a point of the points that we just did. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he's an idiot. Then he casually sits down on the edge of the bed next to mine, and he looks me in the eyes for a moment. Hello, Asao. How are you today? Well, I'm fine. How are you? I don't answer him, but I smile a little back at him. Oh, aren't you sweet? You know, isn't, aren't you supposed to be in that bed right there? There's just nothing. Are you a ghost, Asao? Everyone's a ghost. This doesn't even exist. This isn't real life. What are we doing? We're playing a game. <laughs> I believe that you can go home. Your heart is stronger now. And with some precautions, you should be fine. We have all your medications sorted out. I'll give you father a prescription. Special prescription, sir. The doctor hand. Oh, that's not his voice. There's no voice. The doctor. doctor can I read this one? The doctor handed a sheet of paper to my dad, whose expression turned white as he closed it. Don't ever read again. <laughs> you can make comments. Do not read. <laughs> I can't. So many. So many. So many. It takes. That's awesome. It takes. I take it from his hand. And it looks, and it it looks takes, I take it. How am I supposed to react to this? You don't. You don't react. <laughs> To be a bitch. Nausea, Warfarin. Wor wor that, that's a water pill, I think. I think Warfarin's a water pill. Yeah. Profanol, dizziness, fatigue. Oh, I should probably read it. This really long was the medication starting from the. From the, from the star, starting. Staring back at me from the paper seat. This is really distracting. Seems insurmountable. Now. They all blend together in a sea of letters. There. These are just so distracting. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> tick in this. I can't. Words. This, this is, is insane. insane. <laughs> Side effects adverse effects. Contradictional and di dosages are listed line after line with cold prescription. I try to read them, but it's so futile. Oh well, yeah, look at all these words mixed together. I can't read any of them. Yes. As <laughs> can't, I can't understand any of it. Attempting to only make smooth. dysfunction. Wow, the spell. The attempting to only. Oh wait, attempting to only makes me feel sicker. There we go. All of this for the rest of my life, every day. Yep. You gotta smack a bitch now. Ow. <laughs> You're not a bitch. I'm afraid this is the best we can do at this point. However, new medications are always being developed, so I wouldn't be surprised to see this less fade over the years. Years? What kind of confidence was traced to that? I'd have felt better if he hadn't said anything at all. 
Also, I've spoken with your parents, and we, be we believe that it would be best if you don't return to your old school. What? What? Please calm down, I said. Listen to what the doctor said. I don't think I was doing the voice of the doctor like it was before. I don't, didn't do the dad's voice. Please! Oh, well. I, I can do it then. No, no, shh. I said, I don't think I did the dad's voice like I did last time. I'll do it with the doctor's voice from now on. I have one. Perfect. No, you can do the dad. Put calm down. Put up on the doctor to sound like a little man. I was already doing the doctor, like, so I forgot to do last time. The way he says it tells me he knew full well that I wouldn't like it. Am I going to be homeschooled? What are my concerns for? So, so you know, we understand that your education is paramount. However, I, I don't think that it's wise for you to, go without, to be without supervision. At least not until we are sure that your education is suitable. So I've spoken to your parents about the transfer. The school is called Yam Yamaku. Yamaku Academy. Especially in dealing with disabled students. <laughs> disabled, what am I? You are a disabled bitch. Deal with it. It's a 24 hour nurse. Uh, it's a 24-hour nursing staff, and it's only a few minutes from the highly regarded general hospital. The majority of students live on the campus. Think of it as a boarding school of sorts. It's designed to give students a degree of independence while keeping them nearby. Independence? It's a school for disabled kids. Don't try to disguise that fact. <laughs> if we're really that free, there wouldn't be a 24-hour nursing staff, and you wouldn't make a hostel of being nearby a selling point. Of course, that's not the only reason if you want to go, but... Where your mother where, and Where would you see reason in there? Well, uh, that's, of course, that's only if you want to go, but your mother and I aren't able to homeschool you. Did I do that good? Close enough, you frat breathing. We went out there and had a look at it. I look a couple of weeks back. I think you'd like it. <laughs> <laughs> like, your voice sounds kind of vaguely familiar or something. It looks like, mm. <laughs> it looks like I really don't have a choice. How long have we been recording for? Well, 15 minutes. Yeah, well, I, mean, cool. I, can, I, can, I, I can have like a six hour video on my channel. Well, we're gonna have like this is probably a half an hour video because it's a uh, well, it's uh, also the pilot, so you always yeah. want to pilot thirty minutes. Compared to the other hard parts, people with your condition usually tend to live long lives. You'll need a job one day, and this is a good opportunity to continue your education. Oh, that was the doctor. <laughs> you very. Oh well, he's an unimportant. I read it. He's well, a, his dad and the doctor are unimportant characters. We're not gonna see them ever again. But uh, well, then I'll do the voice for chicks then. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I can't. I'm doing Misha. I'll do Misha and Shizun. You have no idea who those people are yet. Isn't there like a new one? Yes. I'll that, do that, her. That's Shizun. <laughs> I'm missing an opportunity. Don't, 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 don't call an opportunity. Don't call it a high-end opportunity. Well, you should at least be, be excited at the chance to go back to school. I remember you wanted to return to school. Well, it's not the same one. A special school. That's da, 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 an insult. That is what I want to say. But it's a step down. It's not what you think. All of the students there are pretty active in their own sort of way. It's geared towards students that can still get around and learn, but just need a little help, in one way or another. Mentally disabled kids aren't allowed at Yamaku Academy. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not joking around, that's actually one of the things, it's only like physically disabled. Ah. The father's right, so many of the graduates of the school have gone on to do amazing things. The person doesn't have to be held back by the disability. Yeah, yeah they can. That, that's, no, that's proven a lot by two characters in this. One of them's a painter, one of them's a track athlete. Or Miss Painter? Armless painter and no leg and no leg track athlete. That's Emmy. <laughs> That's she's a track star. She's the best runner. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm, getting ahead, I'm really getting ahead of myself because there's there's people who are watching this who have never seen this game before. I'm just completely spoiling it. Yeah, they have no idea what's going on. But my colleagues in another house supposed to graduate. I don't care. A person doesn't have to be held back by a disability. That's what a disability is. Also, not everyone at Yamaku Academy has a disability. You can only roll without one. I really hate that there's something important to me. It was a side plan, but what can I do? It's a normal life outside of the question, though. It's funny, I'd always thought my life was actually kind of boring, but now I miss it. I want to protest, but I want to blame the lack of reaction on shock or fatigue. I could easily yell out something now, something about how I could go back to school anyway, but no. I don't say anything. The fact I, is that I know it's futile. I look around the room, feeling very tired of all, from all, of all this. The hospital, doctors, my condition, everything. I don't see anything that would make me feel that any different. There isn't really a ch there really isn't a choice. I know this. The thought that's, ah, going, but the thought it. of going to a disabled school. What are those even like? As much as I try to put a positive spin on it, it's very difficult. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> but let me try. A clean slate isn't a bad thing. That is all I can think of to get me through this. At least I still have something, even if it's a, sp a special school. A special school. It's something. It's a fresh start. My life isn't over. It would make a mistake to resign myself to thinking that. At the very least, I can try to see what new life will look like. I finally going to the school. I hope so. I hope That's what so actually too. gets you know not extremely boring sitting in a classroom. Oh yeah, the opening thing. Oh, That's man. me. Well, not me, but his owl. So, hi Sao. Hi Sao. Hi Sao. Hi Sao. 
I don't know what I'm saying. I'm not saying anything, probably. I'm probably just something random. Ow. <laughs> the gate looked far too pomp. I like the music. <laughs> far too pompous for what it is. It was. The gate looked far too pompous for what it was. In fact, <laughs> <laughs> I still have to do it though. In fact, gates in general seem to do that. It's well, it's how it's thought essentially. It's the other having normal normal poison doing. Oh. This is one special style. That sucks. Red bricks, black, brown, iron, gray, gray plaster. Assembled into a hole that didn't into a hole that didn't feel welcoming at all. I'm wondering if it looked like a gate for school should be like, but couldn't really decide. Probably point out. Of course, I didn't want to get stuck on thinking about the gate for too long, so I entered it through at the brisk pace and felt surprisingly good. Moving forward feels good. So I walked toward the main building of Yamaku Academy with this brisk pace. I'm going. I'm, I'm, I'm alone as my parents are taking my stuff to the dorm, and there's supposed to be someone waiting for me. The grounds are incredibly lush, filled with green. It doesn't feel like the kind of grounds a school would have. More like a park with a clean walkway going past trees and the smell of fresh cut grass and all other park like things. Words like clean and hygienic pop into my mind. It makes me shudder. <laughs> why, why does that make you shudder? I don't even. Why? It's I like, have... oh, oh, cleanness, get away from me! <laughs> I well, them off. Stay up in my neck. This is just like <laughs> It's your life. You haven't taken it. You must be slow. That's what I tell myself. A few big bold building <laughs> boulders. These are all boulders. <laughs> few big buildings. <laughs> no mind. The leafy canopy is too big and too many for me. Just the school. Everything seems off. It's a it's different from what I thought and I, I knew about schools. It's an Academy Valley. Even though I was told that this is my new school, in the back of my mind it doesn't feel like one. His head. Not mine. <laughs> What if the feeling is real or caused by my expectations of a school for the disabled? Speaking of that, I don't see anyone else here. It's kind of weird. That's probably because they're in classes. You ever think of that? You ever makes think of that? You don't think ever! Makes me wish there was somebody here so I could anchor myself through something tangible instead of having this feeling that I stepped into another dimension. It's the ultra dimension. The hyper dimension! Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> we, we lost all the video games. <laughs> we lost him, people. <laughs> the trees hum the wind. And the green hues flashing all around. If this was the hyper dimension, I'd totally have this half on neck here. Just so I can see neck here. <laughs> it makes me think about hospitals again. How they say that the operating rooms are painted green because green is a common color. But not a creative color. They're not even green. So why this is outside of the school. So why am I feeling so anxious despite all this greenery? Only after I stand in front of the haughty main building, I surprise myself by realizing why the gate bothered me. Haughty. Hotter. I love that word. Hotter. It's like bubbling. Hotter. It was the last chance I had to turn back. Even if I had no life, I'd to turn back. But still, after still. entering, there was absolutely no way I could go back anymore. Feeling nervous with this realization set in my head, I opened the front door. A tall man with bad posture nurses me as I enter. We're the only people in the lobby, so it's only logical. You must be Nikki Nakai. Oh, that's his first name. That's not Nakai or last name. Fuck it. So you are. Excellent. I'm your homeroom and science teacher. My name is Mewtwo! Oh, sorry, wrong thing. Mewtwo! Mewtwo! Oh. Welcome. We exchange a handshake that neither of us is from North Lobby and looks at his watch. I kinda wanna put a Professor Stein face on it. No. Yes! He <laughs> looks like it. He looks Head like nurse asked, asked me for a brief check in visit, but there's no time for that now. Oh, should I go later? Yes, afternoon is probably fine. We should probably go and introduce you to the rest of the class. They're waiting for already. Wait. I don't really like being center of attention, but I guess it's an inevitable in a situation like this. Somehow not knowing what is waiting for you makes me feel really nervous. Thinking of this, I don't miss the what the teacher is saying. Do you want me to introduce yourself to the class? Yeah, of course! Literally, for every single route, that's the option you're, you should choose. Really? Every single route as you do that. I wouldn't. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure it's one of the ones that doesn't matter if you do it or not. But, but you, you like to do it. Yeah, I'd rather make sure I get the, the correct route. Yeah, sure, I mean, isn't that normal? Of course, but not everyone likes to be the center of attention. I'm probably one of those people, but I guess I should be able to give the first impression myself. Right, but it's no problem. Let's go then. When I was pounding my chest, it keeps me thinking about my condition as I follow the teacher up the stairs. Third d door down, third floor quarters, marked as the classroom for class 3 3. Mewtwo! Opens the door. <laughs> he's not Mewtwo. He's, a, he's, he's the legendary Pokemon that rules all of them. That's not Arceus. Arceus. And I'm Flareon. You're the false one. Good morning, everyone. Sorry I'm late again. <laughs> oh, God. He def definitely... I have characters I can... I like this. I like this face. The face is so therapeutic. You see it so much. This, this this will be burned into your like your mental recording image. You'll remember it forever. I hesitate for a second at the door, freezing on the spot. 
You're always reading after oh, me. I get a grip. I get a grip. This is a big step. I know that, but there isn't any point to worrying so much about it. At least not this soon. That's Hanako. The one with the. I don't know who. You, I don't know who. And most of these people aren't even important. That's Hanako. This one with the missing the guy with the missing ear. Oh, I followed the teacher into the classroom and look around partially, so I won't have to meet the curious gaze of my new classmates. It's pretty spacious. It's, oh yeah, it's pretty spacious. The ceiling is unusually high, and there's a there's lots of space left over around and in between the desks. An entire wall taken up by blackboards, and the, and the, and the high old-fashioned windows only make it seem larger. I've really got to. The student's desks are just standard wooden desks with a self shelf underneath. For books and wooden chairs with metal frames. Simple and efficient. I stop walking in front of the classroom and face the other students. They all look normal, like students in any other school. But then why would they be here? How oh, that I, obviously that, doesn't look normal. That it, she has burns! I mean, you can't really see them. You can see them yeah. on her hand. Like, her yeah, entire rice of her body is guy with the missing ear. She has a bandage on her arm. She'll, she, well, this this isn't the blind kid classroom. That's three tail. Yeah. For her eye. It's, it's a different color. It's not really a disability, it could be. Ooh, we're moving! Probably like me and have something wrong with them, only it's just not immediately obvious. Then I noticed that one of the girls seems to be missing the thumb of her right hand. It's a little jarring. <laughs> 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 this is Misha. She'll use her jills to get to the center of the earth. This is Shizune. Shizune. She's, she's the deaf one, not deaf. No, yeah, deaf. Wait, drills to get to the center of the earth? What? Yeah, look, look, at, look at those drills. Look, look at those drills. Oh. Uh, and then there's the one in the corner. Yeah, he's not a character. Well, no, I mean the... Oh, the she... Misha and Shizune, or Shizune, 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 her name's not Shizune now. Oh, wow. Okay, that was keep it. These are the only characters. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do Misha's Oh, I step. see, she has no legs. That's not, that's not Emmy. That just happens to be another kid with no legs. That one has a knee brace on. No, oh, she has a, she sprained her knee, so she's better, better transfer schools. Okay, do you already read this? I already read that. Okay. Despite the natural tendency to listen when someone's talking to you, I tune out the teacher speech halfway through and introduce me to the rest of the class. I notice a flash of dark hair and I see someone looking at me. A girl with really long straight hair. That is pretty catchy. She's looking back at her. She covers her face with her hands and though as if it would make her visible. That's Hanako. There's a boy with a cane leaning against the lockers at the rear of the class. It's weird seeing someone so young using a cane. Another girl, Another oh, girl okay. seems to be making some weird hand motion. Sign language? She peers at me over the rims of her glasses, then goes back to whatever she was doing. Yeah. <laughs> She's kind of cute, so so is the cheery looking girl with the pink hair sitting next to her. <laughs> she she's really kind of hard. I don't know how I didn't notice her the moment I walked in. Probably because she just came up, came back up from burrowing. Please, please welcome our newest classmate. He claps his hands, and so does everyone else except one girl in the first row who has only one hand. I cringe a little, but hide by bowing and thanks for the applause. I did not deserve. Collective silence tells me that I should open her mouth now. I like men. I mean, so guys. <laughs> And after that, my hobbies are reading and soccer. I hope to get along with everyone, even though I'm a new student. And after that, I'm being so boring. This is exactly like every hit cell introduction ever. I should say something more, something more exciting. I end, end up, up saying, saying nothing, and the teacher picks up from there. Everyone seems to be satisfied, even with the little I said. Though a few girls are whispering to each other, throwing glances at me. It could have gotten worse. I listen to the teacher, and he, as he drones about getting along while getting. Letting my gaze sweep across the classroom. The yeah, the game room. Everyone seems to be listening to him intently, and when it, he's done, they, they clap together. They, they clap their hands together, and I feel as weird as things that do. Read, 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 read. But the first row girl claps on this round with her one hand against her other wrist. That ends in a bandage snap. I have bracelets on. It makes me feel kind of bad. Or it makes me feel a little bad, not kind of bad. We're going to be doing some group work today, so that we'll get a chance to talk with everyone. Is that okay with you? Yeah, that's fine with me. That's good, and you can work with Hakamichi. She's in the she's the classroom representative. She can explain anything you might want to know. And who else would be able to that, that right? Okay, I know. The teacher passes out the day's assignment and announces that he'll be working in groups of three. It hits me that I don't know who Hakamichi is. Slow, the teacher seems to catch my help with this. Oh, right. Hakamichi's there. She's in Hakamichi. She's in Hakamichi. As he calls out her name. As he calls out her name, the cute, bubbly looking girl with bright pink hair and gold eyes waves her hands at me. I take a seat next to her by the window. Hey, 
I guess you're Hakimichi, meet you, right? It's nice to meet you. Ah, Squirtle! What? I'm caught off guard by her laughter. Nope. It's nice to meet you too, but Squirtle! I'm not Hakimichi, I'm Misha! This is Hakimichi, she. 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 Giggling, Misha points to the girl next to her, the one I saw using sign language before. It looks like she has been st staring at me this whole time. She nods once nonchalantly to show that she acknowledges my presence, but only barely. She has short yet carefully neatly brushed hair, a pair of oval shaped glasses balanced on a different gray dainty nose, and dark blue eyes that seems to alternate every few seconds between analytical and slightly bored. It's nice to meet you. Dot, dot, dot. She immediately looks at me, she smiles, and makes a few quick, quick gestures with her hands. Hakamichi nods <laughs> and makes a few gestures of her own. Yeah, I know. I have to really get a few more of them will stop recording. I start to wonder if the teacher was messing with me and saying that like you'll be able to talk with people and who better to explain things to you. I can see you're a little confused, right? Right? Well, I don't understand why you would think I was shit champ. She can't have stuff, so I'm the person who translates things back and forth to her. For her. Your voice. <laughs> I could assume that that'd be kind of like her voice is like yeah. something probably more girly. Yeah. I'm looking at her for Squiggle. She said it's nice to meet you too. Squiggle. <laughs> this. She always has squiggles. These have to be said. It's part of every word she says when she, there's a squiggle. Dot dot dot. You're nice to her, aren't you? Well, she can't. Of course he is. If he wasn't, he wouldn't have been saying it for the reason, right? Right, Squiggle. He seems like a very interesting person, doesn't he, Squiggle? Someone come at her door. I don't know. <laughs> They're just like, hey, this might be too loud. We knew there was going to be a new student, but we didn't know he would be here today. So soon. Hick Chan, right? <laughs> Your voice is just out there. Hick Chan? I don't know how that even pronounced. Like, Hick Chan. Hick Chan. Hick Chan. <laughs> yep, Squiggle, it fits, doesn't it? Did I say that loud? It's just a surprise. I've never liked that nickname. Spock is the first one I probably called it. I don't really see how. It fits, Squiggle! You just look like- You look just like I imagined! Squiggle. <laughs> There's no such squiggle. I don't care! Dot dot dot! What is she? That, that's basically her signing. Yeah. Ha ah, ha ha Squiggle! You look like you- Just like a jam! I wonder why everyone seems to think so. Dot dot dot. dot, dot. The Maki Hakamichi taps her fingers on the desk to get Mishu. Misha's a Mishu! Mishu! They gesture back and forth to each other excitedly, their hands are blurred. Misha seems a little overwhelmed. Ah, oh, that's cool! Er, sorry about that. Chick wants to know if you. Chick Chan wants to know that she's the glass rep, so if there's anything you need to know, you can feel free to ask her. Dot, dot, dot. Do you think this goes far? I'm just out of the way of the words. We can show you around a little if you haven't had time to walk around. Familiarize yourself with it. Misha stumbles with her heart, her word a bit, making it stick out in her otherwise fluid translation. Thanks, but it'd be pretty helpful, yeah. I just kind of came straight to class today. Dot dot dot. She's kind of angry. Ah, squiggle! That's no good, you should always try to learn as much as you can before you're going before you go there. Not just at school either, Squiggle. I had a voice crack. Oh, you it's a trip to the convenience store. Really, Shik Chan. Ha 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 ha, Squiggle. She is really weird. Pretty sure she actually has no disability. Pretty sure she's just here. Learn about, about where you're going. I guess I didn't bother to do that, or just didn't care enough to do so. I didn't look forward to this, even if I committed myself to go along with it half assedly, but anyway. I don't say anything, and Misha signed something that ends in a shrug. What was that? It seems like it was about me. I feel like something over in my seat. Both of them are smiling, but that shrug hit me unexpectedly deeply. You look down, are you okay? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Do it in your own way, please, Squiggle. I hate when people are afraid to ask questions. That's how, that's how people learn things, right? By asking, Squiggle. I think it's supposed to be the quotes from, uh, Oh, there's still quotes on there. Oh, yeah. Asking for help is a perfect thing. That's not. Asking for help is perfectly normal as much as, it, as needing help. Stop looking like you just failed a test. Now look, see if there's a name up there. Ah, <laughs> Squiggle! So there's just an exclamation point, not exclamation point, the quotation marks everywhere. There's just. Am I gonna do a voice at all? 
You could you could do Kenji. 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 Yeah, the blind samurai. Blind samurai. He's not a blind samurai. First, that's the name of the character. It's all not Soul Calibur. Can't remember the name of it. More combat. Mortal combat. All right. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Oh look! Really? You, you don't have to call Shik Chan something like so formal like Hakamichi or Class Rebel all the time. Just call Shik Chan. Sprinkle. Shik Chan. Shik Chan. Dot dot dot. She's blushing. The music stopped. Ah, Sprinkle. Okay, we're still careful. Maybe shoes would be more appropriate. Dot dot dot. Yep, yep, Squirrel, she's in, it's fine. <laughs> okay, that would be a lot easier for me. I feel, uh, I'm gonna this one. I feel like a little more at ease. Both of them seem to be so friendly, so I feel like an idiot for being so apprehensive earlier. Especially about Shizune. I assumed. Who I assumed would be all business. Or well, with that chest, I don't think she would be. What you could do a Misha route. Can't tell, she's not a route. Well, she still seems like that, just less so, I guess. Dot dot dot! Exclamation point! <laughs> just that. Huh? Alright! We haven't done any touch with Simon. We should start work now, or shit him, we'll get mad! Hey, Simon, it's also kind of long, so we should start now if we want to finish it before the end of class. I'm pretty sure that's what she just said. It's how you need. Ah, Squiggle! That too! Dot dot dot. She's in losing. Two of us occasionally. I don't need no sign language to understand that. Okay, okay, I get the message. Dot, dot, dot. After class, we can take a walk around the grounds together. It's a nice day together. Okay, Sprinkle? Sprinkle. Should we stop the recording for right now? Yeah, we're at 34 minutes. Okay. Well, we will see you guys next time. Pop, pop. We didn't really have a good outro for that, so it was just kind of... Wait, uh, don't go to my menu. Don't go to my um, menu. Save. Save. Wait, save again. Save state. Are we going to stop right now? We're not going to stop. We're going to... I'm going to do something very quick. You know, uh, I'm going to full screen this and check something. See if it's Make sure it was recording. <laughs> Make sure it stops recording. Uh, I have to have this up.